Okay, this is a demonstration of a Goldak TR5 type of cable locator. This is a uh, similar to the 5A locator. Um, except the 5 has a sound box instead of a built in speaker. Got a transmitter and receiver. On a receiver, when you plug the sound box in, it turns the unit on. And to turn the uh, transmitter on, this is just a pull out switch. You can see it's already transmitting. It's a direct output. It's a high, low, and high on it. We're just going to place it on the ground here. There's a cable underneath. We can go down the line and trace the cable. Okay, we're down uh, 100 feet or so from the transmitter. We're looking for the cable. You see, <clears throat> just passed over a peak in the sound. So we know the cable's right. In this peak. You can also do no mode. Another cable's right here. If you flip this around, you can find a depth because it's got a built-in angle meter here, so you can do your triangulation uh, at 45 degrees. So you bring the gauge up to the, uh, the 45 degree mark, and you pull it away until that sound disappears. And then you measure that point from here to the point where, where the null is, and you can get your uh, depth of the cable. Now, if you also didn't want to use a sound box, and by the way, there's a 9 volt battery in here because it's amplified. The sound out of here is very weak, so this actually amplifies it. However, you can use a pair of trim dependable headphones like this and plug that in. It works just as good. You can hear the sound coming out of here, and it's over your ears. And Sounds pretty loud. Now to do direct output, simply plug in your direct output cable. When you do this, it disconnects the, uh, the loop antenna inside. You take your return to an earth clamp, which is right here. And your other one goes to your pipe. That you're tracing underground, and that's it. Very simple. Now, just a quick look inside the transmitter. The back of these comes off pretty easily. They just pop off, like that. In here, we have a set of six uh, C cell batteries. This replaces this Nita 1609 huge nine volt battery. He's put out just as much uh, uh, current as the uh, Nita 1609s, and you can go to the drugstore, hardware store, and buy these. Uh, you can't do that with a Nita 1609. This is probably the most simplest locator you can get. It's simply a uh, Hartley or Colpitz oscillator in here, and that's amplified uh, through uh, an antenna. It goes around, uh, use a direct output, and a switch. Very simple. Uh, you can tune this capacitor here if you get uh, the right frequency. Uh, also down here, that you can tune this while listening to the receiver to get a nice tone. And uh, very simple to operate.